Yo guys, hey, what is up and welcome to a new video. So I'm fully aware that I haven't been doing a lot of YouTube videos recently and the reason for that is I've been just streaming a lot. You probably have seen on uh, YouTube that I've been um, posting pretty much every night actually uh, that I've been li uh, live on Twitch and encouraging you to follow me on Twitch but I am fully aware that not everyone can tune in on Twitch and I need to uh, carry on uh, my YouTube, uh, YouTube video series. Uh, which uh, I am doing today. Hopefully going to give you some uh, nice little tips today on how to improve your laser lock. Um, so I'm just going to... Actually, we're in, in the game now with the AI. Um, built loads of dozers. We're not going to try too hard. We're not. This is not a game we want to win. We're just purely going to be practicing our laser lock here. Um, what I'm also going to do is leave a video in the description. It'll be the top top video in the description where a guy called Zezon, he... Um, he has a video on how you can change your hotkeys in zero hour, so uh, I'm going to leave that in the description. Uh, you will require a program, and um, Zezon will tell you this in his video. He'll tell you you need this program called XCC Mixer, and I'm pretty sure that the link he gives in his description doesn't work. So what I'll also try and do, I'll leave a video uh, link, in, sorry, a, a file link in the comments or in the description where you can get XCC Mixer. So if you want to improve your laser lock, then uh, I would actually recommend watching uh, his video first and change your hotkey from L to R. So, um, just so because, uh, well, for most left-handed people, you're probably going to be having your key your hand on the keyboard on the left-hand side of the keyboard, like numbers one, two, three, four, <clears throat> and you'll notice the L key is the default um, laser lock key, and it is all the way down the right-hand side, like near the enter key, and you don't want to be moving over there, going towards the L. You want to be uh, keeping your hand as close as possible to the uh, left-hand side. So now this is a bit of a rambling rather than on video, but I would recommend changing your hotkey first from L to, I use my hotkey as R, I know a, play, a player called Rage, if you know a player called Rage, he uses the hotkey R as well. <clears throat> I would recommend doing that first, and then uh, this is just one way that you can practice your laser lock in um, in zero hour one that I just made up, I just booted it up, We've, we're against three three tanks, hard armies, and we're just the USA, and I'm just going to make loads and loads of missile defenders, we don't want to try and win this game, we're just going to be building loads, and then basically later on when the tanks arrive, we're going to be uh, uh, just laser locking loads and loads of stuff as much as possible, just purely practicing, that's all we're going to be doing. Uh, for the first part of this video though, the computer is pretty slow, and it takes ages to attack, it gives me a little bit of time to talk. Um, and one thing I do need to do is announce the uh, winner from, you remember the beginning of the Legend 27 series that I did? I did, uh, the first video I ever did with that, I did a giveaway. Um, and I never announced the winner from it, so I picked a winner, and the winner I'm going to choose is Vladimir Vlahovic, if I'm saying that name right. Uh, you can see his comment on the screen now, and you've, you're actually going to win the... Um, Win the uh, deluxe <coughs> edition zero hour. So not 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 the deluxe edition. It's a, just a basic version of uh, zero hour and generals together, uh, refurbished copy. So if you send me your details, I'm going to send you an email as well. Send me your details, and you are the winner of that. You'll receive a free copy in the post. I'll just need your address, which I'll contact you by email because I've already got your email. Uh, I also need to give a shout out to. Um, here's where the laser log begins. By the way, I also need to give a, sh a shout out to. Um, Michael Wright or Michael W, a uh, new supporter on Patreon. We're going to continue to spam these uh, missile defenders. We're actually run out of cash. That's alright, we've got plenty of missile defenders. You reckon we've got enough? Yeah, I need to give a shout out to Michael W, new uh, supporter on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome. Also, as, as I said before, I've been streaming a lot recently. Uh, I highly recommend you follow me on Twitch. Um, you'll have seen on, vi on my videos on YouTube. I've been posting like a little notification video to tell people that I've been streaming. I highly recommend following me on Twitch. We've been having like occasionally up to 130 viewers on Twitch. Uh, the chat's been very active. Everyone's been having a good time. We've been having some really good games. If you um, if you don't like to watch live, then you can also I'm just trying to concentrate on laser looking these things at the same time. You can also um, watch past broadcasts on. Um, on Twitch too, so you can just go to my go to my channel, go to Press Broadcast, and anything in the last uh, 30 days or so is um, saved. I think it's t t 30 days, maybe, maybe 24 days, something like that. Um, yeah, you can watch all, all the previous streams there. Um, I don't always post to YouTube just because um, uh, just because sometimes you're using copyrighted music and that gets banned on YouTube. 
so I've uh, just been live streaming a lot recently so apologies uh, for the lack of videos. I've also got a new keyboard, you might notice that you can actually hear my keyboard a bit now, you'll actually hear the keys and stuff. Uh, not quite as loud as uh, Boyka and his videos. Uh, where it actually goes insane. I don't know what I'm listening to sometimes. Sometimes I think I'm listening to a uh, a guy just running up and down the stairs continuously when I watch his videos. So it's not quite as bad as that, but hopefully, uh, <coughs> hopefully not too bad. So basically, yeah, this is this is what the video is. We're just going to be laser locking as much stuff as possible until we actually lose. We will eventually lose this, uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to be laser locking as much stuff as uh, as possible. You can actually hotkey all your stuff, so I can uh, hotkey one, two, three, four, five. So you see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and I can laser stuff, um, laser lock stuff as it comes. I actually prefer not to do that. I actually prefer just to select individually. Um, the missile defenders just select a few, select like four, uh, laser lock. Laser lock the tanks as it comes in. Uh, so eventually this will get too much for us. It looks like a little bit too easy now at the moment. But um, I can assure you we will be overrun very soon. You'll notice we're getting there. Uh, actually, what are they doing? You don't want to overkill laser lock one thing. You want to try and uh, laser lock uh, one tank. With like four missile defenders. This isn't even that quick for me, but um, this is my first game of the night. I thought I'd do a quick video on how to uh, how to laser lock some stuff. So what I usually do, you can actually laser lock one tank with a few, and then of them select a few, and select something else, and basically just continue just to practice. You're just practicing getting hold of that um, R key or whatever key you've got, and. Um, so I select select the units, press the R key, and then immediately just click on the unit. It's a really simple, easy thing, but it's just something you've got to practice to be uh, to be really quick. And I just find doing this just before um, just before I play a few games, or if you ever want to, if you ever feeling a little bit slow, just do this. Laser lock some stuff. So you see, like that's going to die now instantly. So you didn't need, didn't need like um, the whole eight missile defenders on it. You only need like that many. He's going to kill a tank pretty instantaneously. At the same time, we can build in more and more and more stuff. As soon as they also get vetted up like that, they fire it. I think insanely quick, and also um, higher damage output as well. I don't know if they get a bigger range or not, but sometimes you don't even need the laser lock now, like now because they're so highly vetted up. Sometimes people are stuck in the mind that you've got a laser lock when actually there's a little bit of delay and sometimes you can actually kill it faster with uh, without the laser lock. So uh, don't always have the laser lock. However, when when you um, when they're not vetted up like that, it probably is best to laser lock a uh, fully, uh, fully HP uh, unit. But just pl facing um, three tanks like this, um, the, the enemy only makes tanks, whereas if you play like one of the other Chinas, he'll make MiGs and he'll start um, shooting at your... His race get a little bit harder now with the, uh, with the uh, overlords. Yeah, he'll start shooting at your... Um, your missile defenders with MiGs and you don't want that. Because obviously you're not practicing, you're just going to die to the mix no matter how much how good your uh, laser lock micro is. Our building's being captured, but it doesn't matter. All, all these fire bases are doing is just delaying the, the, the units, so otherwise these, these, these gats, if I wasn't paying attention, they'd just tear through all this, which they actually are doing now. All we want to do is just practice for as long as possible. So like there, I've got too many units laser locking one thing when actually I should have split them and should have been laser locking one thing with one uh, with the uh, some missile defenders and laser locking the other uh, with the other uh, with the uh, other missile defenders that were spare. Never really need more than five. You see, over here we're getting overrun already, so we will eventually, as I said, lose this. But we're going to try and. Uh, we're not going to use any support powers because all we want to do is laser lock a little bit of lag there. I think when too many computers get on the screen, it is uh, it just becomes super laggy no matter how fast or however slow your PC is. Speaking of PCs, I've upgraded my uh, keyboard as I said. Also want to upgrade to uh, my new processor soon. I'm debating whether to get the uh, i7 6800K or the uh, Ryzen 7 at the moment. So. Uh, 
hopefully soon I will be upgrading to one of those things. I'm just doing some uh, re uh, rev uh, looking at some reviews on YouTube. So you see over here we're being uh, overrun. It's a little bit laggy there as well. It's not letting me uh, let's lock that as quick as possible. But it's just because so many units on the screen, just the way the game is built, it will eventually uh, eventually slow down. Maybe this will improve slightly when I uh, upgrade my PC. Uh, so it's looking pretty bad on this side, looking pretty bad on this side as well, but I'm feeling, even though I, this wasn't the fastest of laser locks for me at all, it was still uh, still a little good, a bit of a good practice and also a good opportunity for me to update you on some stuff. If you ever are in this kind of situation in a 1v1 when you're being totally overrun, you can use uh, missile defenders to cause as much damage as possible. You can actually sometimes still win a game, or if you're uh, in a 2v2, just uh, cause as much damage as possible with your laser locks like this. But we are going to be uh, overrun, we're going to use some support powers. Just cause a little bit of havoc just before we, uh, just before we go completely down. So it's just a good, good way of practicing it, and if you uh, if you don't feel satisfied after this, go back, change your hotkey. Um, as I said, watch that video from uh, from Zezon, and then just practice it again. Just keep practicing, um, and it's just one one key thing. As I said, mi missile defenders for U for USA are uh, one of the most key units you need to uh, you need to be making. Have we got any buildings left? No, that's the last building, so we're going to die. It's the uh, one of the most key units in the whole game, actually, missile defenders that can laser lock. So if you perfect that, you you're increasing your um, your skill potential by uh, by pretty far, and you hopefully win a load more games. So yeah, that kind of wraps that up then, guys. Um, just a quick way to improve your laser lock. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully updated you on a few bits as well. I'm actually away now for four days. When I get back, I'm going to be starting hitting the, uh, hitting the YouTube videos again. So cheers for watching, guys. Congratulations to Vladimir. I will contact you by email. And um, I'll see you next time.